Hi there, how are we all doing? We've got a great product here. Jupat 3000 watt DC to AC inverter, pure sine wave. They did send me this um, to do. So let's have a look. It's a good looking machine as well. So in the box, we've got a data cable. You've got a nice controller so you can turn it on and off and it's got its own LED display so that'll be good you can put it flush into a camper van boat anything like that that's a nice bit of kit that is so let's get it out oh you get some uh, clamps no cable sometimes the supply of cable that the cable isn't um, usually what I've always seen isn't usually good enough but I think it's just more to get you going than anything so I am waiting for some because my system's already wired in with shorter cable so I'll, I have to get some bit longer cable but for 3000 watts I'll need a lot bigger cable so let's get this out and it's a decent size as well so here we have it 3000 watt inverter pure sine wave I just pull you can get them on Amazon like I say they did send me this free of charge to have a test do a video so let's have a look at the front so we have two sockets on and off switch the remote connection a USB connection some different parameter switches what I'll have to look into yet and it has a proper AC outlet where it's like a chocolate box well we call them chocolate box so you can screw in a bare cables straight into the machine so different app, any um, applications where you need so at the back we have got two fans supposed to be quite silent and the connector cables and of course I've sent you the um, proper connector plugs and that so I'll have to make a cable up later on and then uh, we'll give it a little test out but it's a good looking machine and um, the length is about 42 centimeters as well so it's quite I'm not saying it's small but comparison to some others um, I have a energy and it must be I'm just off the top of my head, head 60 centimeters long and uh, a lot more fatter but it is heavy don't get me wrong it is heavy so we're going to some statistics uh, later on I thought I'll just put it in the uh, when I've got it in the studio with the lighting we'll have a look at it catch you later well I'm in good lighting I thought I'd go through um, the data sheet and uh, feel free to pause it if you can uh, want to have a look so here we have the 3080 watt and uh, the peak surge power is up to 9000 watts I don't know uh, what you're going to be generating with that but that's well sufficient and this pro product is a 240 volt system as we're in the UK at the moment and you're in different countries you can get the like the 110 and so on and they do do a 24 volt system as well so just going through the USB is 5 volt 10 amp 10 and a half watts maximum 
just just got going through some uh, things um, protection we've got some automatic shutdowns and cooldowns automatic reset um, heat over temperature 85 centigrade and uh, you've got internal fuels in as well um, it's, this particular one is nearly seven kilograms as well got the working temperatures that's just like normal uh, quite good but yeah just feel free to pause it and have a look if you're interested in any of that so we'll go on to the testing So we've got this uh, set up, this Jundipal 3000 watt inverter, pure sine wave. I've just set it up um, for demonstration purpose only. Uh, these are welding um, wires, what does uh, higher the lot high ampage, uh, but I wanted the length you see uh, for demonstration purposes. Uh, I plug the remote in and as you can see it's got a nice display. So you've got the battery level, voltage and the watt it, voltage of the um, AC out and it tells you how many watts you are consuming as well. And just lifting this up, so that'll turn it on and off, remote, or you've got the master here. And you've got a couple of switches, if you can just see here, they, you can alter the frequency as well of the voltage you've got a um, usb here as well this is the uh like it's a lan for the remote you've got direct wiring as well under this little hub and then you've got your two ac ports here so i'm going to do a, a slight demonstration so underneath you what you probably can't see i've got an air compressor underneath here so on an air compressor you need quite a bit of a boost to get it going and so and the most powerful thing is uh, this heat gun so we're going to get this heat gun going and then see if we can turn the air compressor on uh, at the same time and if it'll um, boot it up and it's supposed to have a 9000 watts like peak jump power um so i think combined it's going to be about 2000 watts something like that but let's let's test it anyway so we'll uh, it's on at the moment so we're gonna put it on low power at the moment it'll be quite noisy so that's running about 1500 watts I hope that's a bit better, I've put my microphone on now. We'll be going to see if the compressor will turn on at the same time. So there, straight away, the compressor kicked in. We're running at 2000 watts, but there's a lot of... I'll turn this off now. So there's a lot of jump power to start the um, compressor off as you can see and as you can hear that's the fan now because of course it were doing a lot of work it's dropped down the fan's gone off the load's off but as you can see it's quite a big um, push on the battery uh, I have got um, what is it for 400 amp hours of um, kilowatt of uh, lithium should I say well uh, we'll plug this in again just to 
but it jumps off. So the fans start showing the fans running. You can see it's uh, the compressor is working, but it's the power what it needs to get the compressor to go. And then of course the fan on. You see that that one full power and it. I think that triggered uh, my compressor to come off. Saying that, it might be full of air. <laughs> I'll just let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, air's full anyway. <laughs> I thought it was the machine, but uh, now the, the air's uh, full of the compressor. Um, so yeah, grab yourself a bargain. Um, I'll put the link in below. The you can get it from Amazon and it looks nice as well and it's quite small for a 3000 uh, watt inverter um, you can get to 24 volt ones different wattage and uh, like I say grab yourself a bargain thanks for watching I hope this was helpful goodbye